Hey guys, welcome back to round 20 of the A1 competition. Firstly, before the game gets started, I'd like to thank um, Bus Queensland for being our A1 competition sponsor. Um, we're going to run through the team list before they get started. So for past high tonight, we have playing Jamie Edwards, Madison Fitch, Georgina Gregg in the net, Alyssa mccurley -Alt, Emily McEwen, Molly McEwen, Ebony Panzram, Savannah Trapp, Piper Treby, Jessica Wallace, Danielle Watson, Deb Wormington, Vicky Green, Caitlin Cronk. Playing for Red Lions tonight, we have Abby Burge, Ainsley Clanchy, Rebecca Denny, Bronnie, Bronte Gannon, Bobby Hamlet in the net, Jasmine Kosh, Jessica O'Kane, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Michaela Dorge, Jessica Burke, Angela Morosky, Skylar Watson, Felicity Kosh, and Kira Nichols. And our two umpires tonight are Jay Mogg and Corey Mogg. So we're down the red lines end with, uh, I think, pass side of the ball. It's hard to say. Yeah, so pass high have the ball in the defensive end. Fortunately, that one's gone over the sideline, so that's a turnover to the Red Lions women. Good tackle there from the Red Lions women. They're just trying to penetrate penetrate that D and pass high are trying to keep that ball out of that zone. Ooh, a bit of a stick check there. So pass high have the ball now. And they continue to push forward into the red line's defence. Which is cleared by Jasmine Kosh. Last I have the ball now, they're trying to work their way into that Red Lions D and Red Lions are um, putting all their effort into keeping that out and keeping it in the middle zone at the moment and working it back up to their end. So it's a 16 in the past high defence and looks like Jamie's going to take that and they're going for a transfer. Ebony Panzram, she should go up the sideline there. And unfortunately, that one's gone over the sideline, so that's a red line ball. Red lines are also going for the transfer to the opposite side of the field, with those past high strikers pushing up to um, intercept that one. tackle there from past high. A good stick skills from Spanner there. Really trying to get into that D and give um, her teammates an option at the net.
and a clearance from the red lines defenders which has gone over the sideline so it'll be a past high hit at the sideline and on the 25 line Pass high is going for that transfer again. Really trying to get it out of their um, defense zone. Looks like there was a bit of a high ball there, so it's red lines ball. Which is trapped beautifully by the pass high defenders and sent back up there in. Just for those wanting to know, up on field two is the A1 men, Rangel and Newtown playing. It's past size hit on the sideline. Um, down in the red lines defence. Unfortunately, that one's just gone over the back line. So it's red lines hit. Um, it'll be a 16 hit. <laughs> red lines, they're just going for that transfer again. Just trying to get it out of the zone. Fortunately, it's just ended up on the sideline. So pass high will take that just um, before the 25 line. Beautiful defence work from the Red Lions A1 women. Really trying to keep it out of their zone and keep those, um, those goals away. And it'll be a past high hit on the sideline as it's gone out again. hit for the Red Lions women. Unfortunately, Savannah Trap couldn't get to that ball quick enough there, so... But really good effort on trying to get that one. Red Lions hit on the sideline. And they're going to go for the transfer again. Beautiful running there from the striker for past high. Unfortunately, I don't know her name. <laughs> A little bit behind with that, so apologies. And it's past high hit on the sideline. Beautiful defence by the Red Lions women, really trying to keep that ball out of their defence zone. 
Unfortunately, Python's got up, and Savannah Trap's got the ball now, so she's going to run that one. Beautiful hit into the goal to her um, other striker. I think that's Caitlin Croak, or maybe it's Molly. But unfortunately, it went over the back line, so there's a 16 hit for Red Lions women, and they're doing that transfer again. which had been intercepted by the Pasai women. Oh. Oh, flick pep that one in off the sideline, but unfortunately the Pasai women have managed to get that one back and push it through towards the D. Just a mistrap there by the Red Lions defender but manages to give Parsi the ball back so it'll be a long corner on the 25. I think that one was called a bit dangerous there so Partai has got the ball back again, just inside that 25. And they've managed to pop it through into the circles of Savannah Trap. Fortunately, it was a bit of a stick check there, so it is Red Lions um, 16 hit. And it's just been hit down to the other end, so it'll be the past high 16 now. Bit of a high ball there, but <laughs> nobody was in danger, so <laughs> we're all good. Oh. Looks like past high might have touched it on the way. So it's Red Lions ball, sorry guys. Red Lions now just really trying to pop that ball into the circle in some way. Fortunately, no one can get a touch on that one, so it's just a 16 shot. Um, for past high and Jamie's going to take that one And just another 16 for the past high women. Beautiful dis defense skills by Jasmine there, really keeping on that ball, which has earned them the um, ball back. Fortunately, it's made its way back to pass high, where they're going to try and run it up that other sideline. And it's just popped back over the sideline, so it's red lines hit.
beautiful defense there by Jamie, who unfortunately looks like it just popped on a foot outside the circle, so the Red Lions women might have a chance at trying to get into that circle. Just topped that one, but it's a long corner anyway. We're just going to pop over to quarter time now. We are super excited to announce that Summer Sixes is back in 2022. Summer Sixes is a six-a-side social hockey competition that is played across a half field. The competition will go for eight weeks from mid-October until early December. Games will be played on a Wednesday and Friday night with game times being 5.30, 6.20, 7.10 and 8 p.m. In Summer Sixes, there are six players on the field and games are played across a half field. There is no hitting allowed and the ball cannot come above the knees at any point. All other rules like feet, back stick and obstruction still apply. Goals have to be scored from within the D and there are no goalkeepers allowed. There can be anywhere from six to ten people in a team and your team can be made up of your friends, your family, people from work or people from your club teams. In 2022, we are really excited to be adding walking hockey to our competition. If there is anything that stops you from being able to run, but you still want to participate in Summer Sixes, be sure to sign up for walking hockey. All the rules are exactly the same, except no running allowed. Registrations are open now, so make sure you get your team together and come up with a team name, a team colour, and the name of your team coordinator. If you want to participate in Summer Sixes but don't have a team, sign up anyway and we will find a team for you to be in. If you have any further questions or concerns, please email coach2 at toowombahockey.com.au. Alrighty, we're back to the second quarter. Fast eyes starting with the ball. Jess just trying to look for that um, best optional pass there. She's popped it through to one of her friends who's got pretty excellent stick skills. I'm just going to run that back line. Fortunately, she just lost that one because it looks like it's been a an obstruction of some kind. So Beck's going to take that hit for the Red Lions women. Fortunately, Kira's just mistracked that one there. So Papa is going to take that on the sideline there at the 25 with the ball. Bit of a high ball there, so the Red Lions are going to take that one. Again, I do apologise in advance for not knowing anyone's names. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. <laughs> Red Lions just really trying to clear that one out of their zone. It's going to be a sideline hit for the pass by women. No one there was to jump on to the end of that one, so that's going to be a 16 hit for the Red Lions women. Bit of a dangerous hit there from Beck, so Parsa is going to take that um, ball. 
So she just got back over the sideline, so the red line's got that one back. Unfortunately, red line aren't having a pretty good run just hitting those feet of their fellow teammate. So it's just another turnover again. Ebony just popped that one there into that pocket for Savannah. And she's just won a, is that three? Yeah. Sort of free hit for them. And there's been some excellent, excellent defense from the Red Lions A on the side, really trying to keep that ball out. And Pass are trying to really um, penetrate that D and get a result. It's red lines ball, just going to take that one as a 16. Fortunately, it's just landed on the stick of a pass by player, so they just got the long corner for that one. Pass by Phil with the ball, really trying to um, penetrate that circle and get that result that they're looking for. Fortunately, that one just didn't get um, on the end of a stick for a touch there, as it hasn't travelled by. The red line's going to take that hit um, at the top of the D there. on the ball now. She got a shot at me. Excellent goalkeeping skills from Bobby Hamlet there. And it's Red Lions ball. I still with the ball on that sideline. Really just trying to pop it through there to their strikers. Just popped it through to Savannah. And it's just travelled over the back line. So it's going to be a 16 hit for the Red Lions women.
Beautiful ball there from Ainsley Clanchy. Really trying to get that ball through to their strikers. And it's a red line hit on the sideline over there. Just the pass high ball there and that's just on the inside of the 25. Course, unfortunately just a mistrap there so Red Lion's going to take that 16 hit. And beautiful ball just sent down the other end into the pass high defence where they'll take that as a 16. Unfortunately, the Red Lion strikers just couldn't get on the end of that one. Just pass size hit on the sideline there. It's travelled up the um, side. And it's just popped through to the strike there in the D where they're going to attempt to take a shot. But beautiful um, defence there by the Red Lions women, really trying to keep that um, score from changing at any point they can. Just a dangerous ball there, so pass high is going to take that hit. And just no one could get on the end of that one, but just a turnover there for the Red Lions women, and they will take that. Just travelled across the top of the D there with those pass by women really trying to get the ball in there to have um, a shot. They won that ball so they are just working their way around the um, edges of the field and using that back line if they can. Just muddled herself up there a bit, so it's just a just popped over the sideline. So red line going to take that one, and Kira's passed it forward to one of her teammates. I think that's Sky, maybe. Yep.
couple of sick checks there, so it was par five ball. Just a 16 hit for the Red Lions, eh, one woman? It looks like Ainsley, Ainsley's gonna take that one. Past I managed to make a tap on that one, so it's Red Lions hit from the sideline. And Skyler's just taken that one. Molly McEwen's just popped on through and trapped that one, pass it through to Sven and trap. She's gonna make her way into the D and pass it off to some of her teammates. She just popped over the sideline there, so I think it's Mog's gonna take that one. And Jasmine's just come in and clean that up. Sorry, it's not Jasmine. My bad. Just red lines on corner there. And pass high is going to take that ball on the sideline where it's gone out. And it looks like there's a short corner there for the pass high women. I think there was a range of things there, a bit of stick checks and obstructions, so. Past I had the chance to possibly pop it in the net and give us our first point for the <laughs> night. And Red Lions just really trying to sort out their defense there for that short corner. So the balls were injected there to that first person. It's just a slap. Um, good goalkeeping there from Bobby and the posties, whoever they were. Really good defence work from them. Managed to hit the ball out over the sideline. So pass high is going to take that one. Just transferring that one back to Jamie.
past night, just one of bolded. Bit of an angry whistle there from Corey Mars. It looks like there might be. And Molly McKeown just had a shot at the net. We're just popping over to half time, so we'll see you guys in five minutes. We are super excited to announce that Summer Sixes is back in 2022. Summer Sixes is a six-a-side social hockey competition that is played across a half field. The competition will go for eight weeks from mid-October until early December. Games will be played on a Wednesday and Friday night with game times being 5.30, 6.20, 7.10 and 8.00 p.m. In Summer Sixes there are six players on the field and games are played across a half field. There is no hitting allowed and the ball cannot come above the knees at any point. All other rules like feet, back stick and obstruction still apply. Goals have to be scored from within the D and there are no goalkeepers allowed. There can be anywhere from six to 10 people in a team and your team can be made up of your friends, your family, people from work or people from your club teams. In 2022, we are really excited to be adding walking hockey to our competition. If there is anything that stops you from being able to run but you still want to participate in Summer Sixes, be sure to sign up for walking hockey. All the rules are exactly the same except no running allowed. Registrations are open now, so make sure you get your team together and come up with a team name, a team colour and the name of your team coordinator. If you want to participate in Summer Sixes but don't have a team, sign up anyway and we will find a team for you to be in. If you have any further questions or concerns, please email coach2 at toowoombahockey.com.au. We are super excited to announce that Summer Sixes is back in 2022. Summer Sixes is a six-a-side social hockey competition that is played across a half field. The competition will go for eight weeks from mid-October until early December. Games will be played on a Wednesday and Friday night with game times being 5.30, 6.20, 7.10 and 8.00 p.m. In Summer Sixes, there are six players on the field and games are played across a half field. There is no hitting allowed and the ball cannot come above the knees at any point. All other rules like feet, back stick and obstruction still apply. Goals have to be scored from within the D and there are no goalkeepers allowed. There can be anywhere from six to 10 people in a team and your team can be made up of your friends, your family, people from work or people from your club teams. In 2022, we are really excited to be adding walking hockey to our competition. If there is anything that stops you from being able to run but you still want to participate in Summer Sixes, be sure to sign up for walking hockey. All the rules are exactly the same except no running allowed. Registrations are open now, so make sure you get your team together and come up with a team name, a team colour and the name of your team coordinator. If you want to participate in Summer Sixes but don't have a team, sign up anyway and we will find a team for you to be in. If you have any further questions or concerns, please email coach2 at toowoombahockey.com.au. We are super excited to announce that Summer Sixes is back in 2022. Summer Sixes is a six-a-side social hockey competition that is played across a half field. The competition will go for eight weeks from mid-October until early December. Games will be played on a Wednesday and Friday night with game times being 5.30, 6.20, 7.10 and 8.00 p.m. In Summer Sixes there are six players on the field and games are played across a half field. There is no hitting allowed and the ball cannot come above the knees at any point. All other rules like feet, back stick and obstruction still apply. Goals have to be scored from within the D and there are no goalkeepers allowed. There can be anywhere from six to 10 people in a team and your team can be made up of your friends, your family, people from work or people from your club teams. In 2022, we are really excited to be
Alrighty, welcome back to our third quarter. Um, we're assuming it is only 1-0 to Rangel up on field two for the men. We haven't seen any other goals yet. Um, past time really... Um, trying to think of the word there. Really trying to get into that D really early in the game. Just trying to get a result there to change that score. It's still nil all here on field one. So red lines um, 16 hit. And it's just popped over the sideline again where red lines will take that one as well. And red lines they're going for that transfer back to Ainsley. And she's gonna pop that through to I think there's Abby. And then pop that up the sideline. Beautiful attempt there from Savannah Trapp to try and have a shot at that net. Um, Bobby, well done for tra uh, keeping on that one. And that's going to be red lines ball on the sideline there. Mm. Yeah. Passed high with that ball there. Um, attempt to attack that red line circle. Passed high has really opened up that um, ch and changed that game momentum at the start of the third quarter. Um, and again, just really good defence from the red lines women. And it's going to be a long for the past high women. And Emily's managed to win a free hit there. Unfortunately, that one's just popped over the sideline, so Abby's going to take that for the Red Lions women. And Svenna with the ball in the D. Just trying to get a result. Looks like it might have just popped over the back line there. So it's going to be a long corner for the past high women. Again, beautiful defence by the Red Lions women. Really trying to keep that result on the board there at what it is. Not letting any goals in. 
really giving quite a challenge to those past high women. Jasmine there just popped that ball at the line and now it's an all out run where it's just popped over the back line. So it's going to be a 16 hit for those um, past high defenders. It's going to be a 16 hit for those red lines women. Oh, beautiful running there by Kira, really trying to get onto that ball and give red lines a shot at the past high net. Fortunately, she wasn't able to get to that one. But it is a red lines long corner anyways. And Savannah Trapp with the ball, just running that one off the sideline there. Just trying to pass it through to her teammate. Fortunately, she couldn't get on that one, so that's going to be another 16 for the Red Lions women. Pass high there it was in the D. Beautiful keeping there from Bobby. And Red Lines manages to keep that one in, passing it up the sideline to their teammate. And Kira's got it down in the pocket there, but just has no one to pass it to. Looks like it's going to be past high's ball on the sideline there. And Savannah Trapp has it down the sideline. Just running that one herself, using uh, her stick skills there. Manages to get a touch from the Red Lions player, so that one's going to be played as a long corner. Beautiful defence there from the Red Lions um, defenders. Yeah, let's just pop back over the sideline there. So Red Lions are going to take that one. Red line steals the ball on the sideline. And Kira's got the ball. She's trying to find one of her teammates there. I think it was Skylar. Manages to find another teammate. And pop it through. And Red Lions have got a goal. Beautiful work there from the 
um, ladies. I have no idea who scored that. But beautiful teamwork there all together. And pass I had the ball back. Red lines, they're just going for that transfer. Oh. No, Ainsley wanted to go back the same way. And just trying to keep that ball in, but unfortunately, just went over the sideline, so pass side's going to take that ball. Those red lines, defenders really just trying to keep that ball out of their D, not wanting to change that score. Um, looks like the past five women have a new change of moment, momentum, really trying to change that score um, at any means that they can. Pass is just going to take the ball now on the sideline. And they're going to look to travel out to this side of the field. Let's just pop back in there in that centre. And they're going to work that up the line. Ainsley with the ball now, just popped out to Beck there on the side. She's going to look to work that through to her midfielders and strikers. Fortunately, they just lost that ball there, so Pass High is going to try and use that to their advantage and pop that through into the D somehow. A little bit of an obstruction there, so the Pass High are going to take that just outside the D line. And Red Lions manages to change the um, call on that one. So that's going to be a 16 hit. Beautiful stick there from uh, stick work there from Savannah Trout. Unfortunately, Beck was just able to get a stick in the right spot there, earning the Red Lions women the hit. And they've popped it through to Skylar. And I don't know who that other person is there running the ball. And they're going to run that around the back line. side just really trying to keep that ball out of their D not wanting to give Red Lions any chance at having a shot and Red Lions are going to take that from the sideline inside the 25 amazing defense there from Mog really just keeping her stick nice and flat and not letting Kira pass and they managed to um, send that down the other end of the field. But the Red Lions defenders are cleaning that one up.
red lines with the bow. Couple of stick checks there, Red Lions just really trying to keep possession of that ball and past high really wanting to um, change that. Um, score still up on field two for the men, we still believe it's 1-0 to Range Roll. We were trying to get it checked but nobody's responding. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get someone to have a look for us. ball just outside the D line there and that one's just a 16 for a past high and just onto quarter time now we'll be back in the fourth quarter we are super excited to announce that summer sixes is back in 2022 Summer Sixers is a six-a-side social hockey competition that is played across a half field. The competition will go for eight weeks from mid-October until early December. Games will be played on a Wednesday and Friday night with game times being 5.30, 6.20, 7.10 and 8 p.m. In Summer Sixers, there are six players on the field and games are played across a half field. There is no hitting allowed and the ball cannot come above the knees at any point. All other rules like feet, back stick and obstruction still apply. Goals have to be scored from within the D and there are no goalkeepers allowed. There can be anywhere from 6 to 10 people in a team and your team can be made up of your friends, your family, people from work or people from your club teams. In 2022 we are really excited to be adding walking hockey to our competition. If there is anything that stops you from being able to run but you still want to participate in Summer Sixes, be sure to sign up for walking hockey. All the rules are exactly the same, except no running allowed. Registrations are open now, so make sure you get your team together and come up with a team name, a team colour and the name of your team coordinator. If you want to participate in Summer Sixes but don't have a team, sign up anyway and we will find a team for you to be in. If you have any further questions or concerns, please email coach2 at toowombahockey.com.au. Alrighty, welcome back to the fourth quarter. So red lines with that ball and it's just popped over the sideline again. So pass side's gonna take that one. Well, we just checked the score on the men's field. It is still one nil to Rangeville. Um, we did manage to find someone to check that for us, so thank you.
past I have the ball there, just popping it through to Savannah Trap, who manages to earn the hit there, just outside the D. Plus I just really trying to penetrate that um, D and have a shot at the net, but red lines won't allow it. Let's pop through. Pass has had a shot. Amazing keeping there from Bobby. Oh, it's not Bobby. Wrong one. Wrong end. My bad. <laughs> I'm really starting to get confused now. Maybe it's that keeper. Oh, is it Bobby? Yeah. Oh, it is Bobby. My bad. <laughs> uh, I'm all mixed up now. Um, Ainsley Clance, she's just going to take that 16 hit for the Red Lions women. Oh, I was down the right end. <laughs> and it's just popped over the sideline where the past time women are going to take that hit. Alrighty, and it looks like it's just the sideline hit for the Red Lions women there. And the Red Lions just really trying to work that out of their um, 25 zone. That pass high is not giving them a chance to let it go far. But Red Lions have managed to earn themselves a hit. And Ainsley's going to take that one again. And red line's just taking that hit on the sideline there. And manages to get the ball back. Red Lions with the ball there, just looking out to that um, play there out on the far side. Unfortunately, it's just popped on her foot, so far side's taking that ball straight away and they're running it back down the sideline. Unfortunately, no one was able to grab a touch on that one. So it's going to be a 16 hit for the Red Lions women. And again, Ainsley's going to take that one. Just passing it out to the sideline there to her player. And they're going to try and work it up the line.
red lines that are just in that pocket. Manage to just keep the ball in and pop it through into the D. And red lines have earned a short corner. Looks like it's just popped on a foot there just before it was going towards the keeper. And it's the first short corner of the night for the Red Lions women, so on that offensive side. And it was just injected to the top of the D there where it's going to have a shot at net. Um, beautiful keeping there from the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, it's just popped up high, so there's another short corner there for the Red Lions women. Ainsley's just had a shot at net there and manages to pop it through um, into the goal. So it's 2-0 for the Red Lions women on field one. And past high there, just really taking that ball and changing that momentum, trying to keep their heads up, up nice and high and try and get into that D and change that result. And it's a 16 hit for the Red Lions women. Sideline hit for the past high women. And it's Red Lions ball up on the sideline there. Amazing defence there from those past high women, really trying to keep that ball out of their defence. And Savannah Trap really just trying to get that ball up in their zone that they needed in. And really working her way across the field there. Unfortunately, it's just popped. Again, over that back line, so we're going to see another 16 hit for those Red Lions women. And those past high strikers have set up that press real quickly, trying to keep that ball up in that zone. Ainsley's managed to find one of her teammates out on the far side and they're running that up the line. The line's just having a chance there in the D. Um, Jamie's managed to clear that one out of her defence.
Red Lions, they're just trying to get that ball out of their defence. Um, Pass time, just trying to keep it down in that area. And they've managed to earn a free hit. Molly just managed to pop it onto Abby's foot there, so Parsa is going to take the ball again, just inside the 25. Ainsley's managed to hit that one through to her strikers. And fortunately just missed <laughs> who the, whoever the other striker was there. And it's just popped onto the other side of the field. And so Parsa is going to take that one from the sideline. So just going for that um, midfield transfer and trying to pop it through to the striker. Unfortunately, Molly wasn't able, or Caitlin wasn't able, it's Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin wasn't able to get a touch on that one. People look so the same from the ball. Red Lions just taking that sideline hit there and Savannah is just trying to keep it up in that zone. Beautiful hit through. And Redline manages to trap it, just not um, well enough. Unfortunately, she couldn't hold it on the field. And it's just gone over the back line. So Jamie's going to take that 16 hit and pop it through to Jess. Redline's just earning the hit there. Jamie just manages to trap that one, keeping it from popping through to the um, red line striker behind her. And Savannah's got the ball running it up the other end of the field. Plus, I have a chance to um, penetrate the D there and get a result. And she's popped over the back line again, so we're going to see another 16 hit. Ainsley just took the 16 hit, hitting it right through to her um, very high um, striker on the far side. And all those other strikers just try to keep it in that area. Far side manages to win the free hit. Hitting it down the sideline. Pass out the ball on the sideline there. Then just to pop it through to their strikers. Where they're working together as a team to try and get that ball into that D. Um, amazing defence there from Beck. Just trying to keep that one out. Not wanting that result to change at all. And it's just popped through to Skylar at the front. Um, where she's trying to get a result. Both teams have shown some really good defence and offence um, tonight. 
It's a pretty evenly matched game, I must say. So good work to all the girls playing. And red lines with the ball just travelling up the sideline there and just hitting it through. And there's five seconds to spare till the end of the game. And that concludes our game for tonight. Well done to all the girls playing. It was a very um, interesting match.